Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Grayscale has won its ETF lawsuit against the SEC, and we have commentary on the ramifications of this from Lolly CEO Alex Edelman. Finally, also, Canon has posted its quarterly financial results. Just before we get into the news, though, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Digital Currency Asset Manager Grayscale Investments reported that it won its lawsuit challenging the decision by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, to deny conversion of Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into an ETF. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, by the way, trades on the OTC under the ticker GBTC. Grayscale CEO Michael Sonnenschein commented, quote, This is a historic milestone for American investors, the Bitcoin ecosystem, and all those who have been advocated for Bitcoin exposure through the added protections of the ETF wrapper. Grayscale has adhered to U.S. financial rules and regulations in building our product suite since our founding in 2013, underpinned by one fundamental belief, investors deserve transparent, regulated access to crypto. It's incredibly exciting that we are one step closer to making a U.S. spot Bitcoin ETF a reality. End quote. Alex Edelman, CEO and co-founder of Bitcoin Rewards application Lolly, has provided the following commentary to InvestorIdeas.com regarding this news. Quote, Grayscale's victory against the SEC in court this week is a milestone for the Bitcoin ecosystem and suggests that Bitcoin ETF approvals from the regulator may be coming soon. The SEC's failure to provide clear, transparent explanations for selectively rejecting and approving materially similar Bitcoin-based financial products has created frustration and confusion in the industry while stagnating growth and innovation. The ruling will put new pressure on the SEC to be transparent in sharing coherent explanations on its approval process and help pave the way for products that will make Bitcoin accessible to mainstream investors. Bitcoin's price rally on the news suggests that investors are pricing in this development as a vote of confidence in upcoming Bitcoin ETF approvals and a stronger, more transparent regulatory environment. The most recent round of Bitcoin ETF applications from leading global institutions like BlackRock and Fidelity has only further demonstrated that demand for Bitcoin is growing among top institutions and investors. At the same time, spot Bitcoin ETFs have been have seen rather accelerated listings in the EU and beyond, demonstrating that now is the time for the US to embrace innovation by making Bitcoin available to investors through exchange-based products or risk falling behind global powers that are moving faster to claim this advantage. For more on Lolly, please visit their website at lolli.com. And thanks to Alex Edelman for providing that commentary. Lastly, for today, Canon Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ as CAN, has announced its unaudited financial results for the three months ended June 30th this year. Highlights include 6.1 million terahash per second of total computing power sold, revenues of 73.9 million USD total, and a mining revenue of $15.9 million. Nanging Zhang, hope I said that right, that's the company's chairman and CEO, said, quote, Despite the relatively stagnant Bitcoin price in the second quarter, our endeavor to drive sales across various fronts, including major clients, channels, and retail, yielded encouraging results. 
This effort propelled our total computing power sold to a remarkable 6.1 xash per second, up 44% sequentially. Our partnerships with channel clients proved fruitful, while our online retail store continued to capture new clientele from diverse geographical regions. Our mining revenue further set a new historic high in the second quarter of 2023. Recently, we have expanded into new mining projects in Africa and South America. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. This podcast was sponsored by AppTech Payments Corp. AppTech is an innovative fintech company whose mission is to deliver a better way for businesses to provide their customers with immersive commerce experiences. For more information, visit apptechcorp.com. AppTech trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol APCX.